Hey, welcome everyone. Another Ask Mark section here at Blue Glow Electronics. Today I've got an email from Greg and what he is asking is, hey, I'm, real, I'm rebuilding the um, crossover network and a set of speakers and I wanted your opinions on upgrading components in there. And he's not really talking about the quality of the components. He's saying the, um, the resistors that are in this network are currently 11 watt resistors. Could I go with larger wattage resistors? The same with the capacitors in there. So I thought I'd just make a quick video here to, today, try to explain a little of this. Okay, here's some general tips and guidelines I use when uh, upgrading components or swapping components. Resistors and inductors, same with capacitors, I try to stick with the same value if possible. Especially if I don't understand the circuit very well or exactly what it's doing. Um, try to stick with the same value. However, resistors and inductors, you can always increase the wattage or power handling capability of that component. The only thing you have to watch out for is as you increase the wattage, let's just say you've got a, a 200K um, one watt resistor and you want to put in there a 200K five watt resistor. Well, a five watt resistor is much larger in physical size than a two watt resistor and it may be too big for the space you're trying to put it into. Definitely if you jumped up to a 10 or 20 watt resistor, all of a sudden you're getting into something very, very big. It may not work out so well for you. So kind of keep in, keep in mind the physical attributes and look those up as you're going up in wattage. The same with capacitors, try to stick with the same value. You can go up in the voltage rating though, but there again, the physical size of it gets larger. Make sure it'll fit and suit your needs, okay? Now, there are always exceptions to these things right here. I'll give an example. You're upgrading the power supply in something. If it's a solid state power supply, sometimes and most times you can go up in the value of capacitance and really not hurt anything. And you may actually gain a little more capacitance and make the circuit better. In other cases, I'll give an example. Let's say an RIAA um, section of a phono stage in an amplifier, if you go changing around resistor or capacitor values in that, you're going to change the entire RIAA curve um, feeding into that section and it's going to sound horrible. So don't change the value. So you kind of got to know a little bit about what you're playing with here. Study the circuit, ask questions if you've got questions about changing the values themselves. But the wattage or the voltage rating in these cases, you can change at any time with, with no questions asked. Next question, if you need to find a modern equivalent, let's say you've got a 0 0.02 microfarad capacitor in an older piece of tube gear and you need to replace that. Well, they don't make 0 0.02 um, capacitors anymore. It's not a common standard value, okay? They do make them, but they're somewhat expensive and they're kind of specialized. But common value would be point would be 0 0.022 microfarads or 0 0.018 microfarads. And so you got to make a choice. If I, am I going to go down a little bit on capacitance or am I going to go up a little bit? My tendency is to typically pick the higher value to go from 0.02 to 0 0.022. Uh, and and nine, nine out of 10 times that, again, will work out as well. I wouldn't do that in an RIAA circuit. I would do that in a typical maybe coupling capacitor in a, in a tube amplifier or whatnot. So um, just be smart about it. Ask questions if, you, if you've got them and um, you'll kind of figure it out as you go along, but it, it's not that hard. I, I think you guys are smart enough to uh, figure it out. All right. Thanks for watching.